course this year is very different but in the ordinary scheme of things it's very easy in our congregations in our churches to be working away in our own small corners sometimes forgetting that we're part of something much bigger all the denominations that make up the christian church well i have to say that serving as moderator this year, moderator of our General Assembly. One of the joys has been getting to know better and to work with leaders from other parts of the Christian Church. It's been a privilege. It's been fun. Do you know, sectarianism has been and continues to be in some parts a stain on our national story. And so not least, I have so enjoyed working with our Roman Catholic partners. I'll give thanks for those opportunities for a long time to come. Let me now hand over to Archbishop Leo, brother Leo to me now, who will encourage you about this week of Christian unity that we are now embarked on. Every year Christians from a different country are asked to prepare the materials that we can all use to pray together. This year's resources have been prepared by the monastic community of Grandchamp in Switzerland. These materials are easily available on a number of websites and are free of charge. As many countries, including our own, have also had their churches closed, the materials have been adapted with a view to praying at home as well, alone or as a family. Even if our churches are closed, our hearts can still be open to the Lord and the promptings of the Spirit through prayer. So let me invite you to track down those prayers, see what's there and make them your own. By praying together, even in this hidden way, as it were, we will strengthen the bonds of fraternal charity that unite, or that ought to unite, all Christians throughout the world. Let's set aside just a little time each day between the 18th and the 25th of January and join everyone that's praying out there throughout the world for Christian unity. God bless you and thanks for watching.